at the beginning of our weight loss journey, Sassy, my husband Kyle and I, we weren't just trying to lose weight. We were also at the height of our struggle with emotional eating. And at the time, we lived with two of Kyle's family members who didn't have emotional eating problems and they loved snacks and treats. So everywhere in the house that Kyle and I would go, there would be treats and usually some of our favorite things like donuts, chips, cookies, candy, um, pizza, you name it. It was always around and it was always very tempting, especially you know, we were trying to lose weight because our weight was causing us serious health problems, but we were also still struggling with the emotional eating. And so we found ourselves in this place where we were like, I know they love treats, but this is starting to sabotage our weight loss and our results because everywhere we go, we see the food and we want to eat it. And so we were really struggling with that and we really weren't sure what to do. And at the same time, um, my mom, who I know now meant well, but anytime I would say like, I'm really struggling, like I don't know what to do, I'm having a hard time getting results, she would say, I don't understand. Why can't you just eat less? And at the time, I didn't have the words to explain what I was going through. Um, now I understand I didn't have control of the food. The food had control of me but I couldn't say that. So eventually Kyle and I realized like, maybe they just, maybe my mom is telling the truth. Maybe they really don't understand. No one around us has struggles with emotional eating except for us. What if we say, you know, we're really struggling with this and can you help us? Like, this is what we need. So we went to the family members that we were living with of Kyle's and we said, you know, we're really trying to lose weight, but we're struggling with seeing the treats all the time. Is there any way that you guys could put them away? Because maybe out of sight, out of mind would help us. That way, you know, you guys still get to eat the treats, but it might help us stop, you know, from eating them, at least give us time to think about what we're doing. And when we explained, they really, they were really willing to help us and they started putting the treats away and sometimes they would forget and that was when we had to go okay if they forget it's in the end it's not really their responsibility it's ours and it's really cool that once we stood up for ourselves and we said hey you know we're really struggling here we know that you don't struggle with this but this is what we need can you help us they were really willing to help us, but on days where they would forget, we had to take responsibility and have a plan. That's where, you know, some of the videos I've shared, one of my latest ones, I shared some techniques that I had used, like having questions of put around where food is, are you actually hungry? And that would be, you know, a backup plan. And at the same time with my mom, I realized she was trying to help me, but she really didn't understand. And she was really doing the best that she could. And when I explained to her, like, this is what I'm going through, maybe you could go and talk to, at the time I was going through therapy for my emotional eating. And I said, there's a session for family members where you can go without me and you can ask questions and they can try to explain to you without the emotions behind me being there what I'm going through and it wasn't until I stood up for myself and I said can you please go it might help and my mom and my stepdad both went because in the end I realized like I was putting the blame on other people without actually explaining what I was going through or what I needed. I wanted to jump and go, oh, you don't get it. But I didn't tell them what I was going through. And so we often get a lot of questions like, what do you do when family members or friends are sabotaging your weight loss? I thought that they were trying to sabotage me, but it really, they really just didn't understand. And in, I also in the end realized there may be people out there, maybe they are sabotaging. Maybe they just don't understand. But at the end of the day, I had to start taking responsibility and so did Kyle. So we would say, this is what we need. But in the end, we knew like our weight was causing us serious health problems to the point where both of us knew, one or both of us 
we might not wake up if we don't change. We were the only ones that could steer our own ship. So we had to start having backup plans, knowing like people are gonna eat treats. There are lots of people, they don't have emotional eating and they don't have problems with weight, but we did, we had both. So we had to be the one to go, you know, I know you want me to have those treats because they are super tasty or you, you spent a lot of time making that cake and it looks delicious, but I can't. And at first it was really scary to stand up for ourselves and to go, no, this is what I need. No, I, I don't want to eat that today. But as we started doing it and taking responsibility and seeing ourselves working through the emotional eating and getting the results with the weight loss, it felt like um like euphoria because we were actually doing it we were going no i'm worth it to take responsibility for this and not blame other people now but take responsibility and go i can do this what i started doing was co-workers at my work pretty much all week they would bring in treats i started going okay one day a week i'll allow myself to eat what they bring in and the rest of the week I'll have something tasty like protein bars or smart pop that I can you know eat and enjoy with them but stay in the calorie deficit so I can get the results and because I would have something tasty there it wouldn't I wouldn't feel guilty about not eating treats that I didn't want and it it helped me with the emotional eating as well and as I started doing that then I would have backup plans everywhere. Oh, I know I'm going out for dinner with this person. I can now have a plan. I'll choose whatever I want on the menu and, you know, only eat half of it. Or I'll make a better choice. I'll get the lowest calorie version. But that was how I worked with it. Or knowing, okay, there's often treats in the house where Kyle and I live. So we would have low calorie versions of treats that we could eat when those treats were there and we wanted to eat them. Then we had the treat and we could still get the results and we weren't reaching for things that we didn't want. We were starting to take responsibility for it. So in the end, the point of this video is Kyle and I learned we really did have to start saying no and standing up for ourselves. But at the same time, if you're talking to people who don't know you or don't quite understand what you're going through or you don't have a super close connection with that you feel, you know, like you can open up, they might take it the wrong way when you say no. And it's not to hurt people's feelings. It's that you can acknowledge like, I see the effort that you put into that. That is so great. And maybe I'll have a little piece or you know, I already ate my calories for, for the day. That looks amazing. Thank you for the offer. But no, I am trying to lose weight and get healthy. And you can say it in a way that, you know, I'm not trying to hurt your feelings, but I, I do know what I need. I do know what's best for me. And I do need to eat like this today. Or like me and Nicole used to do like, thank you will take some or and freeze it and we have a treat day set for later in the month or something and we're going to enjoy it then yes and that is another thing that i would do and i did start doing that at work with my coworkers. like i have a coworker who's an amazing baker and she always brought treats in and she's she said like i know you won't eat this but i feel bad not offering it to you and so i said always offer i'll take it and either freeze it and have it on a, a treat day or you know Kyle's dad loves treats. So sometimes I'll say, you know what? I'll take mine, but I'll offer it to Kyle's dad because he loves treats. And so, you know, I still take it and they, they seem receptive to that. Oh, she does appreciate it. She does want it. It's, you know, my effort is being celebrated. Someone's gonna enjoy it. And um, that's what I do now. And then again, if I know like at work, there's always treats. So I'll have something that I enjoy, whether it's a diet pop or a protein bar, always on hand so that I can still enjoy stuff with people. And they don't think that I'm like separating myself from them because there's lots of celebrations with food. I'm Italian, food is life. And when I started, you know, trying to lose the weight, I know some people did sort of feel sad that I wasn't participating in the celebration anymore and it's not it's not about that it was about you know my weight was causing me serious health problems and 
I needed to get my weight down. And so sometimes I didn't participate in the way that they were hoping. And I learned that that's okay. It's okay that they might not understand. And that's fine. Cause I know for myself, I needed, I wanted to be here <laughs> and I needed to do what I needed to do. But also, you know, I would participate in another way. I'd bring a lower calorie treat or I'd, I'd take a little piece, like we said earlier, and save it for another day or try a bite and then, you know, leave it. So at the end of the day, it could be true. People may, maybe they are sabotaging, but they don't even realize it. So if this is happening to you, try saying, you know, this is what I'm going through. This is what it feels like. I know you might not be meaning to do it or realize it, but you know, maybe you could help me out. This is what I need. And then have your own plan where you drive your own ship and you go, I'm not trying to hurt your feelings, but this is what I need. And uh, lead the way, be the role model, do your thing, mean business for you. And that's what we do. So the friends, I, I hope this helps you. I do understand what it's like and so does Kyle, but you are worth fighting for and standing up for. And just know, like we realize most people don't actually understand. So there, it's not intentional what we realize. And we just had to say it, explain it, or just say no and thank you very much anyway. And I'll, I'll add in like um, me and Nicole have been partners for 16 years, I think. And people assume that we've always been on the same board. I wasn't and Nicole wasn't at times. We've sabotaged each other in the beginning of our relationship. Like one person would be on board with losing weight and the other one wouldn't. So it hasn't always been like we've both had the exact same mind and the same success with weight loss. We've been up and down together there, and apart. There's been, there was lots of times at the beginning of the journey where my emotional eating was so out of control. I was sneaking stuff and, uh, when Kyle wasn't looking and then eventually I'd come to him and go, you know, I'm really struggling. So yeah, we weren't always on board either, but we you're just... always going to have to look out for yourself because sometimes like I'd be hungrier and I'd have to eat more than I planned and it would affect Nicole and vice versa. But we had to realize like you, you got to stand up for yourself. Exactly. And you are worth it. The friends to stand up for yourself. You only, you know what you need and only you can drive your own ship and take the wheel, baby, take the wheel. <laughs> I don't know. I'm wearing. Is there wheel? Yeah, there's wheels on ships. Sure. Yeah, sure. there is. Steering wheel. Yep. Yep. Big wooden ones. Yep. 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 It's fine. Okay. The friends, if you want to know, I've lost 130 pounds, kept it off for seven years. If you want to know exactly what I ate to lose the weight, you can buy my weight loss eBooks. Use code Nicole to save yourself 10%. You can also click on the link for HTLT subs, huddled I call it, and use code Nicole and save yourself 10% off there as well. Don't forget to subscribe and watch more videos to learn how you can love your food and lose, get results and lose weight and just be cool and cute and wear bacon socks. I, I do have bacon, bacon and egg socks, you see? Um, that's how you get a lust for life. <sighs> Love ya. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.